Hello, 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 and welcome to Stamp with Shell. My name is Shell Anderson, and I am a creative coach and an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I do four Stamp with Shell video tutorials each week. They post mornings on Sundays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Sometimes I post extra videos if I have the time. You can find these videos on my Stamp with Shell Facebook page, my Stamp with Shell YouTube channel, or on my blog, www.shellscreativecorner.blogspot.com. My blog, will, my blog posts will have photos and links as well as the full tutorial with measurements and instructions so that if you like my project, you can easily recreate it for yourself. If you have any questions, you can contact me anytime at andersonshell at gmail.com. If you live in Canada and you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be yours. If you would live in Canada and would like to become a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, please contact me today and I will help you out with that. Okay, that is it for the business. Let's get on to the fun. We are going to be doing a couple of cards today, and I am going to combine stamp sets. I'm going to combine the Sending Cheer and the Fluffiest Friends Bundle. And I'm also going to be using the Stylish Shapes dies. I have some, um, what's this one? Parakeet Party Metallic Ribbon. I have some pool party sheer ribbon that I have colored with a light pe uh, pretty peacock because I didn't have any pretty peacock ribbon and I brought in the tinsel gems four pack. All right, let's get started with our first card today. We have a real red card base. Grab a bone folder here. And this is just a standard card base. As I mentioned, all of these measurements are going to be um, on the blog post. Sorry, I'm just trying to find a piece of paper here so you can see what's happening. Make it easier for you to view, I think. Yeah, that's better. All right, so we have a real red card base. And that isn't folded straight. That's not so good. Let's see if we can fix that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring in my mini and just take that little sliver off. It's trying to... because for this card, we want our card base to be perfectly straight. Now, while I have this here, we are going to take this card front and we're going to pop this in and we're gonna take one inch strip off the front, just like so. All right, so now this is our card base. So we have just a little bit of interest added to our card. Now, something else that I realized that I haven't done is cut my middles for my cards. So let's do that now. That's going to be five and a quarter by four. We're going to cut two of them because we're making two cards today and I didn't cut one for the other one either. I know I didn't. So we'll be ready for our second card. All right. Now we're going to take this and put this on the inside panel of our card so that we have a nice place to write our greeting. So 
just like so. And while we're in here, we're going to take this strip of DSP and we're going to put some adhesive on it and we're going to run that down the right hand side. Just to add a pop of interest where we have cut that off. See what I'm doing there? All right. On the other side, I have another piece of DSP. And this DSP for this card has come from the Merry Bold and Bright DSP. And this is going to be centered up on this panel. Look how bright and cheerful that is. All right, now I'm going to bring in a few items that I have prepared prior to the video. I didn't want this video to be terribly long. And I didn't want you to be bored. However, here is my little bear. I stamped him in memento black ink and I colored him trying to make his fur look like fur. The colors, I'm going to tell you the colors that I used on here because there are many. For the bear, I used, okay, on the honey, I used light wild wheat and light daffodil. For the jar, I used light and dark poppy parade, light and dark real red, and light and dark cherry cobbler. And then for the bear, I used ivory dark pecan pie, and I used the dark pecan pie for a base. Then I flicked on bronze, then I flicked on number 200, and then over it all to kind of smooth it a bit, I used dark crumb cake. And I think he looks like he has fur. And when I say flick, I mean just taking your marker and just flicking little lines, not coloring, just flicking little lines. So that's my bear and the colors that I used. And these presents are from the Sending Cheer Bundle. This was one present and I cut it down into two. Um, I'll tell you what I do is I sit in front of the TV and I color these guys. And that's why I wrote the colors down so that if I want to duplicate it, if I like it, I'm going to want to duplicate it, right? So this has been done for a couple of weeks now. Today all I did was stamp the presents, cut them in half, and added bows to them. I have these little hearts from that bundle as well and this little tag. So we need to put a little greeting on this tag. So I am going to go to the Sending Cheer Bundle and I'm going to get the greeting that says, For You. And we are going to find a little block and I think I'm just going to use black ink on this. And we'll get this inked up. And sorry if my head's in the camera. Hard for me to see. That one's kind of crooked. Let's turn it over and see what it looks like on the other side. I only punched one, so that's better. All right, so we have all these little pieces, and I used the um, stylish shapes dies and just a piece of scrap lemon lime twist for a matte layer. And what I want to do is I want my bear to be holding a present. 
instead of a honey pot so that this will make it into a Christmas card. So yes, when I colored him, I colored the honey pot because I didn't know I was going to do this. I have lots of these pre-colored. You see we have this little guy and we can sit him anywhere. I want to add some ribbon. So I've got this skinny. I know this is parakeet party, but there's so many different colors of green in this picture or in this um, paper that we can pretty much use whatever color green we wanted. And I wanted to add a little bit of sparkle. So I am going to hopefully tie this into a knot. There we go. Not too shabby. Let's trim this tail off long. And I'm going to put this like so, so that I can put this tag through it. If that makes any sense at all. There we go. Now I'm going to glue that tag down flat. where I want it, kind of like that, and I'll come back to this, oh, maybe I can do this ribbon, I'm hoping I can get a wee bow here. go. Not too shabby. Let's trim that off. All right, so we have our little tag. I'm going to grab a glue dot because I don't like that ribbon going over the words. So I'm going to make the ribbon go on the glue dot. <laughs> there we go. All right. So now let's work on this guy. We have to cover up that honey pot. So if I go like this, glue him on like so. How do I want this? Something like that, I think. I wonder. I wonder. I'm going to try something. I think I'm going to cut this right here. Oh, I like that better. It's not quite as large. All right, let's get some glue on here and see if we can completely cover that honey pot. Mission accomplished. How cute is that? A little bear holding a present. All right, this little guy, I'm going to put on dimensionals right there. And I have a bunch here that I've cut in half. go. Okay. 
we're just going to tuck him right here at the bottom. And I think I'm just going to put one little red heart on there. Just like that. Isn't that cute? All right, now on the inside of the card, I'm going to add this one, and I'm going to add the other two hearts just to make that inside pretty as well. now all we have left to do is to put this on the front of our card. So just like so. Actually I'm going to use dimensionals but I think I want the full ones not the half ones for this. Let me have a look here where I'm going. So almost all the way over. There we go. Let's get those backings off. Oops, take it off and put it back on again. There we go. And we're just going to center that up and pop it on. And there we have our, that looks a little bit crooked. It is a little bit crooked. Let's see if I can release this. another dimensional. There we go. All right, that looks better. And inside we have a little hearts, some little hearts and a present. My cute. So that's first card. Let me clean up this mess and we're going to move on to our second card. Get those paper backings into the garbage. All right. This time I have a beautiful pretty peacock card base. And I'm going to bring in that paper trimmer again. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to put the card front in our machine and cut off one inch. And then we are going to burnish this score line flat. And this time I've chosen paper from, what is it called? What is it called? A Walk in the Forest. So we're going to make a more muted version of that card because that last one was very, very bright. Not that there's anything wrong with bright, but not everybody likes bright colors. So we're going to go a little more muted into the regal family we go. Okay, while we're in here, let's put the strip on. Okay. 
And these trees are in Garden Green, Pretty Peacock, and Old Olive. So that adds a nice bright little pop there. There we go. Now on this side, I'm going to use the striped pattern. Next up, we have the Pretty Peacock Square and the White Stitch Square. And we're just going to layer those together. And I think I'm going to turn this this time and make a diamond. What do you think? All right, we have the same little tag. So let's get the for you greeting on there. See if I can get it first try this time. Good, I'm happy with that. Put that away. All right, this time I've done the presents in Garden Green, and then I've put the Pretty Peacock bows, and here is my little bear this time, and he's got different colors than last time. He has dark crumb cake, ivory, light daffodil, dark wheat, light and dark misty moonlight, light and dark peacock and then the, the flicks are with the number 200 and the bronze so he's a little lighter than our last guy was i'll bring that other guy in so you can see the two side by side and i guess it's all just a matter of preference what you like and this time, I think I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to cut down the present again so that it fits. And we'll go right here at the bottom. Yep, yep. I'm going to take this off here and put glue this present on. Just like so. And now I'm going to bring this down here and figure out. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this, so I'm just kind of winging it. Uh, somewhere here I have some ribbon that's buried. Bring in my bow maker. This is the ribbon that I had to color so that it would coordinate. It was pool party and I colored it with light pretty peacock. So I just want a wee little bow. All right. Get rid of all that. And this. OK, 
Okay. All right, shall we? I see what I'm doing now. All right. I am going to put this guy on dimensionals again. I think it's time. Oh, I have some here. Some edges. I use every last speck of my dimensionals. I know there are some people out there who don't like the edges. Well, <laughs> that's not me. Nothing goes to waste. There we go. All right, let's take off these paper backings. Maybe. Stubborn today, aren't they? There we go. And our little bear is going to sit right here. And I'm going to get a blue dot and I'm going to put it on the back of this bow and pop that right there at the top. And I'm going to get another little glue dot and tame that tail. All right. Let's pop this on here like that. And this I'm going to be able to tuck. Actually, I'm going to cut half of that off allowing me to glue that on there. There we go. Just glue that in place there. Cute, very cute. Now we need adhesive on this side. So well, we're going to stop it about there. You'll notice this time I'm putting adhesive instead of dimensionals. And it's just because of the way that I'm putting this on with the point sticking out. All right. Some semblance of center. Like so. There we go. My point was sticking out too far. It was over the edge. All right. This little present can go on the inside. Since we have no hearts this time, I've brought in the Tinsel Gems 4-pack. And those don't coordinate very well. I thought they would. Let me bring in my box of tricks and see what we can find. Uh, nothing there. Those might do in a pinch. want a little something something on there. I don't know what it's going to be. Anything that I have that has green in it is the wrong shade of green. Oh, that might work. Oh, 
let's have a look at these sequins. Let's have a look at those. And we'll pull out the glittered sequins as well. I think we're going to go this way with these pretty peacock sequins. And I'm just going to put one in each of the three corners because there's a bow at the top. Just to give a little bit of sparkle. So there is my second card. Combining those two sets, I'll bring back my first card. And I'll show you another card that I made. This is using just the sending cheer. But you'll notice that the layout that I have came from this card. And I was looking at this card and this was laying on my desk. That's where I got the idea to combine the two. Okay, so there you go. That's our cards for today. Um, like I said, the measurements will be on my blog post and on the description of my YouTube video. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have a great day. Bye-bye.